Hello, in this video we're going to derive the mean and the variance of a non-central chi-square distribution with k degrees of freedom and non-centrality parameter lambda. And the density is often written as a chi-squared with Poisson weights written like this and so we'll use that. Um, first let's show it's a PDF that it integrates to 1 and so we need to show that going from 0 to infinity of this f of x equals 1. And to do that is, here's step 1, and then since this is the density, we'll and it's a sum, we can take it in to this chi-squared. When you integrate a chi-squared distribution from 0 to infinity, that's 1. Then what's left over is this, and this is a Poisson distribution. And when you sum it from 0 to infinity, it's 1. So it is a density. It integrates to 1. Now the mean of a non-central chi-squared, a little background. So if we let xi be a normal distribution with uh, mu i and variance 1, oh, and the xi's are independent, and if we let y equal the sum of xi squared from 1 to k, then y is considered a, a non-central chi-squared with k degrees of freedom, non-centrality parameter lambda, which is the sum of these mu i squareds. So, we're going to have a video um, called Lotus, Law of the Unconscious Statistician, that normally... If we were to take the expected value of y, we would take y times the density of y and integrate it over all possible values of y. But let's replace y what it is, which is the sum of these uh, xi squares. And then when you the expectation goes into that. Well, these xi squares, you know, the xi are normal. So the expected value of xi squared is the variance plus the mean squared, which is this. So now we sum over this, there's n or k ones, oh that should be k, and um, and then lambda. Yep, because we're going from 1 to k, and the sum of the mu i squareds is what we call lambda. Now, the variance is similar. We take the variance of y, but we replace what y is here. And then since the, the xi's are independent, the variance comes in and there's no covariance between them. And then the variance can be thought of as the expected value of this squared. So it'd be expected value of xi to the fourth minus the mean of this squared which is what this represents and, and I have a video called the moments of a normal distribution where we derive these values here this one's pretty easy it's the variance uh, plus the mean squared this one's a little trickier but I drive it in this video so this is this and this is the variance plus the mean squared and of course we have to square it then when you simplify this it boils down to this and then we take the sum so there's going to be uh, two times k of these and then there's going to be four times the sum of these mu i squareds well we can factor out a two we're left with two times k plus two times lambda where lambda is the sum of the mu i squares. And that's the variance of a non-central chi-square. Well, that's all I have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.